Welcome to the 2024 helmet tier list. I'm protected. I don't know what to say. I have a helmet on. I think you can see that. But anyway, welcome to the 2024 helmet tier list. We're going to rank the helmets. Or not rank them, but put them in a tier list. Which ones are absolutely poop and shit? And which ones are just absolutely stunning? As per usual, put your thoughts and everything down in the comments. I kind of want to hear them, but don't go bitching if you don't agree. Like, subscribe, hope you enjoy, and just stay along for the ride, because trust me, in a couple years, I have some crazy ideas for this channel, like genuinely out of this world. Come along for the ride, or journey, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, hope you enjoy. Also, if you don't mind, I'm going to take this off. In our oh-so-wonderful tier list, we have five different tiers. The Holy Grail, the greatest, or the best of the sea. Just the best helmet. They're going to be insane. Or some of them, maybe some of them. We have solid. Well, it's obviously just a solid helmet, right? Mid as fuck because they're mid as fuck. I don't know. Some bummy helmets go in the bum tier and poop helmets go in the poop tier. All pretty self-explanatory. Hope you're still following. And starting all of this off, Esteban Ocon's helmet. The fucking Deadpool looking motherfucker. You want me to be honest? I've never liked this helmet. It's not like a red red. It's not an orange orange. It's somewhere in between. And I don't know why that bothers me. And in the car, it doesn't look the greatest. Alpine have the whole blue and black and pink scheme going on. And him just adding orange kind of disturbs the whole flow. That's obviously my opinion. Helmets don't have to match the car. No, no, no. They do not in any sort of way. But I don't know, it just doesn't, in my opinion, this helmet just looks like a bummy helmet. Literally nothing inventive, it's just a couple flat colours. It's like a My Team Career helmet, you know when you're designing your helmet in F1? It's basically that, it's just boring. So it's going into the bum tier, because it's... Mm. Charles Leclerc's helmet looks crazy this season. I love the whole Monaco flag, well he's had that, well, always. But still, it looks beautiful. The red is obviously going to match with the whole red of the car, which... In my opinion, it's always good when the helmet's matching the car. It just, it makes sense. There's a bit more black, a bit more, yeah, black. But yet again, let's be real. The helmet isn't as innovative as others or as other years or as other Charles Leclerc helmets. So for that reason, I'm going to put it in mid as fuck. I don't, it can't be more than mid as fuck. Like, come on. I don't know what was wrong with me when I was recording this, but it's obviously beautiful. And it's going in Holy Grail. Don't question. And partnering Charles Leclerc and Ferrari for the last time in 2024, because Lewis Hamilton has stolen a seat. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a hard cookie to swallow. But the helmet is fundamentally pretty similar to Charles Leclerc's. Mostly red and, well, his home country's, like, flag or colours. Spain? It looks good. It looks good. There's a lot of black. But yet again, it's not that innovative for me to put it anywhere higher than mid as fuck. Fundamentally, they're similar, like very similar, Charles's and Carlos's. And they, they will look amazing in the car, both yellow, black, and red, and white, all match. But it can't be, it can't, it just can't be higher than mid as fuck. You see, but this is where it all kind of changes because Lando Norris has had, well, he's the king of helmets, let's be real. But this year, I don't know what he's done. He stepped it up and this looks insane. He's always had the whole neon yellowy green, more yellow. He's always had that color, right? And it is a beautiful color, stands out in the car. Perfect, you can see him from a mile away. And I guess that's kind of good if he ends up in a ball of fire and they're trying to find him. Then they see this vibrant looking reflective thing. They'll know it's Lando, right? Yeah, hope he doesn't get into a pit of fire though. But anyway, this helmet is insane. The whole fucking concept of the swiggly circles of black and mainly black. It's beautiful. I'm gonna instantly put this into Holy Grail because that's where it belongs. Fight me. Max Verstappen, a fan of many animals, clearly having bulls and a lion on his helmet. This helmet is nice. We've seen it a couple of times in the past, just it being changed over the seasons very slightly with new sponsors and blah, blah, blah. But this helmet is, in my opinion, gorgeous. There's enough going on for it to be interesting to look at for me to actually want to take another glance at it, see what's there, what's hiding in all of those nooks and crannies. And the fact that there's, it's intricate, it's complicated, it's nice. I'm gonna put this into solid. It deserves, it deserves a solid spot. The flying eagle that doesn't really fly, it just more spins on the track. Logan Sargent, yes, agreed that his helmet will match the Williams and his whole race suit, it being primarily white and dark blue, with some sprinkles of red, which we know that Williams likes doing. But do I like this helmet? I don't really. It's a mid-helmet. I don't hate it. I don't 
I don't despise it. If I was going to choose a helmet, I, this wouldn't be the one that I run to. This would well, be mid, mid in the middle. So that's why I'm going to put it into mid as fuck. Nico Hulkenberg has now entered the chat and his helmet's kind of a mix between Ben 10 with his greenness and the fucking white Alps. I don't know, but it's uh, it's a nice helmet. It's a very nice helmet. A nice contrast between the, the whole white and the neon greeny thing. Yes, it might not stand out because the green is kind of a it's not as popping. There's not as there's not a lot of it. Let's be real, but it's a solid helmet like you really can't complain about a helmet like this. It might not be it might not be as cool as Lando's at first glance, but there's it still looks good, right? I'm going to put it into solid, but like a, a very low solid. It's just barely scraping a solid. Like come on. Yuki Tsunoda, the cuddly teddy bear who in the car is kind of a little fucking terrier. This is his helmet and it's very nice. I've always liked the whole, I don't know what kind of leaves they are. If I say they're for maple leaves, someone's going to start crying. So tell me in the comments, what leaves are they? I don't know, but it's nice. It's beautiful. I've always liked the whole leaf concept that he's had, but I'm on the fence about the whole dark blue main color. I don't really but like it. I don't it. really hate it. If you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like it's a good helmet and I'm also going to put it into solid. Have you guys ever watched Tron and all of those, you know, intricate lines of blue and orange? Yeah. Lance Stroll's helmet like really reminds me of that and it is a beautiful helmet the whole greenness of it matching with the greenness of Aston Martin makes sense and it's gonna look nice like very nice it's not just a flat green color at the top we can see the little sparkles and all of the pearlescent things in the paint and where there's hard lines it's been faded with different colors different shades of green darker lighter lime green small lines of white and black just to add some nice little small contrasts it's a beautiful helmet i'm gonna put it into honestly does it deserve holy grail like at the very bottom of holy yeah holy grail i'm gonna do that Next up, we have one of, if not one of the best rookies we had in 2024. Yeah, Fernando Alonso, this guy. His helmet hasn't really changed since last year. It's still the whole fundamental yellow and blue color scheme. Looks good. It's a bit boring to, to look at. There's not much going on. It's just blocky colors outlined in black. Is that innovative? No, kind of boring, kind of boring to look at. But Fernando, if you can challenge for wins and podiums, I'll forgive you for this, in my opinion, poor helmet design. So mid, going into mid, mid. Now we can all appreciate helmets and this is what I'm doing with the Joe Guan Yu's. The whole pattern of the intricate flowers and things on top of it and well, here, I don't know what this is called. It looks beautiful, but not in my eyes because there's just something about the whole blackness of it that I really just don't like at all. Now, as I said, I can appreciate it. As a work of art, it's it looks stunning, but I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I can appreciate my dad liking a 5.0 Mustang. I can appreciate the art of it. But would I ever want one? Goddamn no, I wouldn't. So it's the same with this. Yeah, I'm going to put it into bum. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Seems like Oscar Piastri has just mashed a couple colors like I did in primary school, painting on a fucking white piece of paper. Yeah, although it's kind of, you know, he's got the theme of the Australian things, whatever that's connected. I don't like it. Let's be real. There's just too much, too much color. Stick to one pri primary color, add some contrasts and complementary colors. Elma looks good, but there's just too much going on. There's not like a single focused color. You have blue, like it's just a lot of blue. There's a lot of yellow and there's a lot of orange. It's good that he has, he, he had green last year. I'm happy he kind of dropped the green if he did have green. But either way, I'm still going to put this into bum. Let's be real. It's not a nice looking helmet. I wouldn't want to look at it forever, you know? My Thai King, Alex Albon, his last year's helmet, his 2024, 2023 helmet was disgusting. It was dreadful. I despised it, but somehow he's managed to turn the ship. And this thing is beautiful. It's lovely. Got a nice little baby pink going on and the blue doesn't really disturb my eyes that much like it did last year. It's got a nice flow to it. It's, it's a solid, like it's a solid helmet. The A of his logo being all bubbly just matches with the whole pink because pink is just a bubbly color. Makes, it all makes sense and it looks nice, like nice. I'm gonna put it into solid. It's a beautiful helmet. And speaking of a blue that disturbs my eyes, I'm George Russell. Out of all the colors you choose, you choose this shade of blue. It's Oh, something about this helmet is dreadful. I never liked it. I've never liked, you know, on the Mercedes, how they had Hamilton at the yellow and George Russell had the blue. That blue is disgusting to look at. 
Blue is such a good color if used well, but there's something about just that George Russell blue is disgusting. Plus the helmet looks like just your basic regular helmet, nothing done to it. It's so shit. I'm going to put this into poop. I hate looking at the helmet and I hate that color. Poop it is. But then on the flip side, a blue that is used, there's so much blue recently. Pierre Gasly, this blue, 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 blue. I've said it like 15 times. This color, it's so nice. It's, it honestly makes sense. The whole white and accent. And as I said, the fading from darker blue to lighter blue to white to blue, it's good. It makes sense as a helmet and it looks good. Similar to Lance Strolls, it's just, it's pleasing to the eyes to look at. There's not like a flat color. I'm not saying flat colors are bad because Albons and Landos are nice. Like they're beautiful, but there's something about this. It's it's just good, you know? It just makes sense in my head. It, mm. So for that reason, I'm also gonna slap this into solid because that's where it belongs. It seems like Perez is not only trying to copy the amount of race wins Max Verstappen had in 2023, but it seems like he's also copied his helmet. And he's done a he's done a worse job, hasn't he? Max Verstappen's is intricate with the, the whole lion at the top, and Perez's is just Max Verstappen's, but a bit worse. So for that very, well, big reason, I'm going to put it into mid as fuck. It's not a bad helmet. It's cool, but it's just worse, you know? Daniel Ricciardo looking classier than ever in this photo. He's always had great helmets. His 2021 helmet, 2022. They've all been beautiful. I don't know. 2023 was good as well. Yes, agreed that this isn't as cool as, let's say, the 2021 helmet. It's still a good looking helmet. He does think he's a hot rod out of the fucking 70s or America somewhere with the whole pinstripes, with the whole fire thing going on. But it's a cool helmet. I've always liked the bubbly and bubbly, 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 bubbliness. Is that a word? And the Red Bull just reminds me of like the early Red Bull days, the Red Bull logo. It looks, it's a stunning helmet. I'm on the fence of Holy Grail or Solid, but I think I'm gonna put it in Holy Grail. It's, it's beautiful. Lewis Hamilton's helmet hasn't really changed since, or not, it has, but not really, you know? But I hope his car owner's ability, or not ability, but the car's ability to score consistent podiums and wins has changed. But his helmet hasn't really changed. The whole purple and yellow theme have stayed. And you know what? Honestly, I'm down for it. There's a bit more black. It's It sticks out. It's vibrant. It's a, it's a solid helmet. Like, that's, it's a solid helmet. So, it's going in solid, as you probably expected. Kevin Magnussen now, his helmet is a tiny bit boring. It's just white, a couple plain colors, and that's meant to be called a helmet. They called it a day kind of early. It's kind of ass, let's be real. I'm going to put this into poop. I don't, like, what is it? It's so boring. Come on. And finally, we have Valtteri Bottas. You can't get a helmet more green than this. This is the Nebulas from the Mil... Is it? Is it? The Northern Lights. These are the, the Northern Lights. Yeah, I got there in the end. Very minimal sponsors, but the whole greenness of the car and his helmet, I guess, is going to look matchy-matchy. Yet again, this is the same with Joe. The helmet looks cool. I can appreciate the whole art. But do I think it's a good-looking helmet? Not really. I'm going to put it into mid as fuck because that's where it belongs. So with all of that wrapped up and said, this is the tier list. In the comments, put down your tier list if you agree or disagree or want to flame me, then flame me, but I really don't care. So kind of save your time. Also subscribe, like, and peace.